Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for a quick My Thoughts on video. Today we're looking at the Evil Within's Cumulative DLC. As I said, this is a cumulative DLC review, so it's the collection of the three downloadable content for the Evil Within, which for the most part revolve around Julie Kidman, the sort of fatal femme fatale from the main game, before and after the events of the main game. First of all, we have The Assignment, which is the first DLC released March 10th of 2015, and this largely explains what Kidman was doing after becoming separated from Joseph and Sebastian during the main game, and delves a little more into her past and her true motives in the game. This is two chapters long and differs heavily from The Evil Within, with more emphasis on stealth, with Kidman being unable to directly engage enemies. It also does feature a new gameplay mo mode known as Kuriyami mode, which basically disables all artificial light by your flashlight in the game, making it that much harder. The second of the two DLCs is known as The Consequence, and this follows on very nicely from the assignment, being released April 21st, 2015, and again focuses on stealth, however you do get access to a handgun and shotgun during this DLC, which makes it more action oriented than the assignment. Similar to the first DLC, the assignment, uh, there is still puzzles for Kidman to solve and provides an ability to push enemies off ledges and use uh, chemical lights in some areas. So of course they have developed this second DLC over the first one. Of course it is still heavily influenced on stealth as well and there is some very strange things in both of these um, such as sort of very charming snails that you can um, shine your flashlight on to get figures, as well as doors and puzzles for Kidman to solve that can give some more information about what she's doing here and indeed have a little bit of that puzzle element. The third and final of the DLCs is known as The Executioner, uh, which was released May 26th, 2015 and, and stylized around first-person battles, playing as the iconic Keeper for the main story. It is a very simple battle premise as you fight enemies and creatures from the story to free your daughter from the evil stem. This obviously differs quite drastically from the other two DLCs due to the first person perspective and action orientation. It provides a nice selection of weapons from traps to hammers to chainsaws, molotovs, RPGs and swords that constantly kept me coming back for more. Out of the three, I have to say I enjoyed The Executioner, even though it is a rather short campaign. As with all of them, the assignment of the consequence two chapters long, you're looking about four hours run time for the both of them. And the Executioner, you can easily go and blitz through in half an hour's long.